So just yesterday, one of our Biotechnica subscribers came to our office and she was very upset because she missed a GRF by one marks. And she was like, I wish I had not done that negative marking. I could have scored. And now my family is pressurizing me for marriage. So probably I should quit preparing. I should go for a job or something. And she wanted mentoring and career counseling. And uh, that is where I thought, okay, whatever I told to her, I'm going to tell to all of you. Because many of you are on career crossroads. You are standing at a place where you can go into four directions, but you are confused which direction to choose. One of the directions was CSI and sadly, you could not succeed there. Now, whatever is your percentile, I want to talk about why you want to write CSI and today. Why did you decide to prepare for CSI and Now, there can be three reasons, okay? And the third one is very important. So the first one is career progress. Like it's the next logical step. So, okay, you, somebody said you write PhD exam, so you wrote, okay? But the moment you do that, if you are, if somebody told you and you're doing it, so when, at the time, the first time when you'll hit a failure, you'll be like, let's leave it, right? Those who quit are the first ones who, who, who do what others say. So don't write say and just because someone else said, Second reason, you are writing CSI and because that's getting you 25, 30 lakh rupees, right? Money is the motivator. Yes, it is. But money is not the strongest motivator for you. I'll tell you an example. So you prepared for CSI and and you failed. And now you're getting a job worth say 5 lakh rupees annum or 10 lakh rupees annum, you will be like, okay, let me let me put the CSR and hold it, I'll run behind the job, right? So, is this a permanent solution? No. Eventually, some, at some point in time, you will feel like coming back and writing the exam. Now, the third one is very important, purpose. If writing CSR in it, becoming a scientist, becoming R&D professional, helping somebody, you know, cure their disease just because of your research, correct? If that motivates you, then, my dear friend, you don't even need a CSI net. And if you get it, fair enough. So, squarely, I am coming to the same story. Why do you need to write CSI net? If money motivates you, don't write it. Because the day money stops coming or you fail, you will be highly demotivated. But if working in IAC lab motivates you, work, working on top diseases like cancer, AIDS, HIV, Corona and stuff like that, which solves human problems, motivates you. Then that is that should be the reason why you should prepare. And then when you prepare, when you will study, that purpose will motivate you, right? That purpose that I want to become a scientist. I want to help humanity. I want to create the next big drug, right? In one of my interactions with one of my mentor, uh, his name is Dr. Manish Paul. He is the co-inventor co of uh, enterozobactam. So that's an antibiotic developed by him and his team. And uh, you can imagine he started very early in his life. Towards 1998, he was working on this drug. And in 2024, his drug got approval. And his antibiotic will now help so many. It will save lives of so many people, right? Now, that should motivate you. When purpose motivates you, money doesn't, then it, whenever you will meet failure, the purpose never fails. Money can fail. The idea can fail. Your path can fail. Your procedure can fail. But your purpose never fails. So whenever you are starting your preparation for CSI at this time, or maybe you are repeating it for the first time, you have to remember that purpose has to be to help humanity, to cure a disease or do something big in the life science industry. And then you jump into your books, you see the motivation, you don't need anybody's external motivation, right? Now coming to those who are repeating, who are repeating for CSI net. Now, if you are weak in theory, more practice of questions for part C, part A and part B, and more, um, just focus on the important topics, 150 important topics, then you should join the 22nd February repeaters batch, which Biotechnica is starting for CSI net. Yes, you heard me right. For the first time, we are starting a repeaters batch after analyzing more than 60,000 answer sheets, response sheets of CSI and life sciences. And we have all that data and we have the AI. We've combined all of that. And now we have come up with a power packed session, repeaters batch 
for all of you. If you just want question practice, if you just want to cover important topics, you don't want to study everything, but just focus on the important stuff and qualify CS on it. Like I told you in my previous video, whatever is the purpose, what the, the reason you will succeed is not because of your hard work, it's all because of your strategy. So the time has come to work on your strategy, to apply for the repeater's batch. So I'll see you soon as a student in Biotechnica, and then we'll work together on the strategy so that next time you got a J R F. All the best. Thank you.